Hello and welcome to this special edition of Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick coming to you from Parkview Field in the heart of what is now a vibrant central business district in Fort Wayne, home of the minor league tin caps. But this show is not just about baseball. For the next hour, our Fort Wayne Town Hall, powered by Comcast Business, will give you a front row seat as we explore a city and a region that really is reinventing itself. A once booming traditional manufacturing town hit hard by job losses in the 80s that now boasts a bustling downtown and an economy driven by advanced manufacturing, distribution, transportation, health care, and the high-tech defense sector. Well, Mayor Tom Henry likes baseball, always has, but Parkview Field is more, a lot more than a baseball stadium in his eyes. It's been an economic catalyst for the city uh, since opening uh, in uh, 2009. Parkview Field was part of the larger Harrison Square project designed to attract new investment, bring more people downtown, and it has helped to do just that. For more on the downtown momentum and what's next, I'm pleased now to be joined by Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry. Mayor, as always, welcome. Thank you, Gary. This park uh, is beautiful, <laughs> and, and uh, it'll be 10 years, uh, I guess, next year, right. uh, uh, celebrating uh, that uh, milestone. How important has this been to revitalization? Well, unquestionably, it's served as a real catalyst for additional development downtown. When people began to experience the success of Parkview Field and, and the Harrison, which is the apartments and mixed use behind us, and uh, the parking garage and how it, it uh, was a facility that actually served a lot of other uh, establishments besides yeah. just Parkview Field, uh, the new Marriott Hotel, all of that was part of this complex. And as a result of the success, more and more people began to develop downtown and yeah. we uh, established more and more public-private partnerships, yeah. which I think that's where it's at. Ten plus years ago, not everyone was buying in. No, uh, to, 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 thought this <laughs> no was a good not idea. at all. How, talk about that and the naysayers and how you well, Originally, that. about 70% of the population was very skeptical. Some of them uh, a little harsher than others as far as uh, uh, their feelings. But the mayor at that time, Graham Richard, and the city council uh, hung tough uh, with their commitment to do something like this downtown. Our original downtown blueprint did call for a baseball stadium or a multi-use facility downtown. And it was looked at several times over the years. Finally, the commitment was made to do this, uh, and it didn't, was not real well received by the community initially. But since that time, yeah. uh, a lot of the people who were originally naysayers have now come back and said uh, it was a good investment. Well, let's talk about the additional uh, development that has been sparked in downtown Fort Wayne. Right. There's a vibrancy uh, here in this downtown area, the Ash Brokerage uh, Plaza. The right. Ruth Chris will be coming in uh, in, uh, in a number of months. Talk about uh, some of that additional development. Well, again, I think because our downtown now has become more and more a point of destination for people, uh, we are getting two more hotels built downtown. They'll be breaking ground this spring. As you mentioned, the Skyline Tower will be finished right across the street from here, a Cityscape Flats, uh, which is a, a, a complex of apartments and lofts. Uh, we're going to have another uh, condominium development uh, being built by the same owner of the Ash Building. Uh, our landing, which is our gathering place for a lot of young people, that's going to be expanded and, and uh, renovated. Uh, our riverfront project, which, we, uh, which was a, 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 an initiative we, when we broke ground this, this fall, uh, that'll be picked back up again after the winter months. So we have a lot of activity downtown. And because my feeling is, and I think that my administration has thought all along that a vibrant, thriving downtown, an exciting downtown, can contribute immensely to economic development to make to make a city uh, worthwhile as far as visiting. And, and a unique development, a boutique hotel, yes. thirty million dollar uh, right. or so investment, right. uh, just announced a few weeks ago. It's, it's going to be a few blocks south of uh, the park, the Parkview mm -hmm. Field, and the whole idea there is we do have a number of executives that come in and visit our city. A lot of celebrities come in and visit our city because of the various amenities that we have, and they want a. Uh, a, a a hotel that's kind of a step up. So uh, Barbara Backard, one of the original owners of Vera Bradley, partnered with Providence Hotels out of the uh, West Coast. They've come in and they're going to build a 125 room uh, high class hotel. But Mayor, as you look to the future, you talked about riverfront development. Correct. Also talked about a downtown event center, an arena right. that you've put on hold, but right. you say that that still may happen. I think the, the event center is in the future. Right now, we, we 
see a lot at our, at our citizen base uh, very quickly. Uh, as I mentioned with the hotels and the restaurants and other types of mixed use development, and we, we ask them to absorb all of this rather quickly. Uh, so when we approach them with uh, an event center, which would serve not only as an expansion to our convention center and, and uh, have a, it will be a facility for music offerings or for sports offerings and so on, it, it was a hundred million dollar project. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were going to be asking quite a bit from our citizens as far as uh, being able to accept another large initiative. Uh, they were rather skeptical again, not unlike Parkview Field, but we felt maybe what we should do was put that on the back burner, let some of these other initiatives mature, be completed, and then bring it back. All right, Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry, about six projects to break ground, uh, I think, in the spring. A lot right. going on in uh, downtown uh, Fort Wayne and uh, the area as well. Mayor, as always, thanks very much. Thank you, Gary. All right.